My name is Denise Gehring. I'm the librarian for graduate nursing and public health at APU. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a literature search. First, you'll go to the Health Sciences uh, Virtual Library. To get here, you go to apu.libguides.com slash health sciences virtual library. On this page, go on down to searching for literature underneath journal articles and databases. So I'm going to be using the example here, uh, spirituality and palliative care in this example. First off, you can do this on paper or Google Doc or whatever you prefer. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and develop a research question, come up with some keywords, and then put our, our keywords into a search statement. So our topic was spirituality and palliative care in cancer, adult cancer patients. So when you go to develop a research question, a good question leads to a direct answer in the form of a thesis. It's best to ask open-ended questions like how and why questions about your topic. Consider uh, the so what of your topic, why does the topic matter to you, why should it matter to others. Some other good words and phrases um, to include in your question might be what are, what do, what should, why, how, effects, benefits, impacts, consequences, prevents, promotes, encourages. So then you would reflect on the questions you considered. So I highly suggest that you come up with two or three. And then you would identify one of those questions that you find engaging and which could be explored further through research. So in this example, I the question I came up with is how does spirituality support provide support to adult cancer patients in palliative care? Our next step then is to identify our keywords or main concepts. Your keywords should be in your research question that you wrote above. You can circle if you're writing on paper or highlight your keywords in your question. So some of the keywords here are spirituality, support, adult, cancer, palliative. <clears throat> After you've come up with your keywords, then you'll go ahead and identify your synonyms or related words. We do this because different authors may use slightly different words to describe the same idea. So for example, one author may write an article on college students and religion, while another may write about university students and religion. So if you just limit it to college students, it will keep you from finding articles on university students. Therefore, you should always consider possible synonyms or related words for each of your concepts. So some synonyms for spirituality include religion, spiritual faith, prayer, meditation, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, etc. Cancer might be oncology, neoplasm, tumor, carcinoma, and I'm sure there's plenty others. Palliative, end of life, death, dying, terminal, hospice, etc. Support, you might use need, help, comfort, peace, assist, aid. And then in for the age group, in Sinol and Medline, you would just check the box for adult. You don't actually need to use this as a keyword, okay? So now I'd like you to go ahead and pause this video and take some time and go ahead and write your research question down come up with your um, keywords, so select your keywords from your question, and then identify your synonyms or related words. So our next step then is constructing our search statement. 
So we place the words and and or, also called Boolean operators, between your concepts and synonyms to help you create a search statement. This will help retrieve the most relevant sources. As the diagram illustrates, using and reduces the number of results you get by requiring that both terms appear in each result. Placing or between your search terms expands the number of results because it retrieves sources that use any of the words. Generally speaking, you should use and between your main concepts. So up here when you selected the main concepts here. And or between your synonyms and related words. <clears throat> There's also a Boolean operator not. Um, be cautious when you do use it because you may be excluding items that you don't mean to exclude. Um, for example, a jelly in this case may be in the reference list or the author's information or the uh, anywhere in the abstract that you, and you don't mean to exclude it. Well, it will be excluded then. In addition to the Boolean operators, some search techniques to help you uh, narrow your results and get better results include the truncation operator. This is to broaden your search to include variant word endings and spellings. You enter the root of the word and then the truncation symbol using the asterisks. So for example here, N-U-R-S asterisks will bring up nurse, nurses, nursing. And same with this uh, religion example. It will bring up all of these terms that have that start with religion and have different endings. <clears throat> the next um, example is phrase searching. You use quotation marks around your search words to search for a phrase. Only use uh, this around two or more words. Using the phrase search will help you narrow your results. So for example, end of life, two or more words here. So we would go ahead and put the quotation marks around this. Same thing with spiritual care, two or more words. We would put quotation marks around that. The next example is wildcard. Here you would substitute a symbol or just one character. The most commonly used wildcard symbol is a question mark. Example for women or women um, to replace the vowel there. And then the last search technique is the parentheses or called nesting. You use parentheses to put search words into sets. Terms in the parentheses are processed first. So then you would use and or not to nest them. So in this example, screening or detect and lupus. So what it does is it does a search for screening or detect, and then it looks up, adds it to lupus. <clears throat> so to create your search statement, we'll go ahead and use those Boolean operators and search techniques. As you can see here, I've used the truncation symbol on most of these for the religion keyword. The next one is the palliative keyword, and I have all of the different words that we um, had listed above. And then I have cancer, and then the support, and then as a reminder, the checkbox and signal and medline for adult. So now you're ready to go ahead and plug this into a database after you have created your search statement. Check out the next video on how to do this.